All right, this is the last section that we're doing in consumer math for 11277 is investing in stocks and bonds. We're going to understand a stock lifting listing and compute costs of stocks and bond purchases. When a company becomes a corporation, it can issue stocks. <clears throat> An investor purchases shares of stocks, they become part of owner of the company or a shareholder. When the company makes money, its board of directors can choose to, to distribute part of the profits to the shareholders. Um, in other words, give a dividend um, to the shareholders, anybody who's part owner in the company, or put the profits back into the company for expansion, lobbying, investing in new equipment, etc. Besides issuing stocks, a bond, uh, a company can also issue a bond. Usually the bonds are issued to raise money and the person purchasing the bonds is really lending money to the company. Generally bonds are considered safe, a safe and safer investment, um, but stocks have greater growth potential. So when you buy stock, you're buying part of a company. So your fate is linked to how that company does in the long term. Um, if you're buying stock uh, bonds, then you're just kind of going on the return you get from the bond and you're not part of the company. Um, if you're part of the company, you may get dividends as well when they're doing well um, and they don't need that money for expansion and so forth. Okay. So stocks are bought and sold on um, stock exchange with the price fluctuating minute by minute, depending on what the investors are willing to pay. Okay. The bonds can also be bought and sold like stocks. <clears throat> Sales and purchases are handled by stockbrokers. Individuals working in a brokerage firm are online brokers through apps who charge a fee or commission. Additionally, investors can hire professional managers to make purchases and sales for them. These managers can group together a portfolio of many different stocks and bonds along with other investors and try to try to achieve the greatest profit for the group. These are called mutual funds and they're typically sorted by the level of risk from which the investors choose. They also can be rated. Um, A5s are the best. So there are stock exchanges to track the stock orders for each stock. The flow of supply and demand establishes the stock price, as we said before. There are many different stock exchanges within different stock markets. The stock New York Stock Exchange is currently the largest exchange in the world and companies listed on it have great credibility because they have to meet the listing requirements. So it's a privilege to be on there um, if you're a big corporation. <laughs> uh, another American exchange is the NASDAQ, which is one of the world's leading electronic changes, exchanges. Coinbase is the leading cryptocurrency exchange in the US with Binance, a leading global cryptocurrency exchange. Stock tables or listings provide managers and investors some important information about each stock. So we're gonna be getting, sorry, we're gonna be getting into those. Um, sorry, I moved the paper up there. Um, we're going to be getting into those in a second, but let's just uh, see the basics of a um, purchase and selling of a stock. All right, so a investor purchased 670 shares of a stock at 73.20 per share. Then she sold sold it for 82 bucks a share. Purchased at 73, sold at 82. If the broker's commission is 2.5% on the purchase and the sale of the stocks, how much money do the investor make on the transaction? So we have 670 shares, each worth 73 bucks. It comes out to this. That's the amount of the stock cost purchase, but you also had to pay commission on that total amount purchased. So you also had to pay an additional $1,200, okay? Um, so we add that to get $50,000 approximately as the total cost of the purchase, including commissions for these 670 shares of stock in this one company. So then apparently she sells it back at 82 when it went up. So this is the amount for the sale. If that's the total amount for the sale, then the commission is off of that total amount of the sale. 
So that has to come off the money made first. So you get this. And then you need to subtract this 50, the total cost of the purchase, including commissions from that. So it took all of that to earn $3,525.04 earned. Okay.